If you made AI images on your computer, you probably heard of Stable Diffusion Web UI, the most popular open source AI image generation tool. Comfy UI is similar to Stable Diffusion Web UI with a little more flexibility so we can do crazy things that you can't normally do in Stable Diffusion Web UI. Can we put Stable Diffusion into Comfy UI so it looks exactly the same as Stable Diffusion Web UI with the added fun things that Comfy UI can do? Yes, and we can jump into it right here in this simple to use and simple to build workflow. So let's jump right in. Let's begin the journey from Stable Diffusion Web UI to Comfy UI. I want to show you how to do it because there's a lot of great tools that are inside Comfy UI and certain extensions, particularly impact uh, the impact pack that are underutilized, in my opinion, that make the workflow so much better and so much easier. So right now we're going to clear this. Clear. That, get rid of that default workflow. All right. So we got a blank interface. So... All right, so first things first, we want to have a checkpoint selection, and that is fortunately in the defaults right over here. Load checkpoint. Looks like I got Dream Shaper. Why not just match up the models? Okay. But uh, how are we going to do this without connecting the wires? You know, without having uh, the old spaghetti comfy UI. Well, there's a special node in KS nodes called set. Now, this node over here it can be used to set variables that are wireless. So I set it over here. I go to get right over here. And if I name this, say model, I can grab it right over here and feed it to a, if I double click, I can bring up this menu right over here. Case sampler over here. I have many different case samplers. We'll just roll the basic for now. So as you can see, wirelessly, I'm connecting this to that so much better so much more convenient but uh let us continue in our tasks so here we go so we got uh the top bit right over here now we need the prompt so we're gonna have a text box over here or hmm what's it called lots of different things text box so here you go text box one it's kind of under here, so I'm going to just stretch it out so it matches. And to make sure we have a, you know, matching stuff over here, we can actually, right over here, make a group. See, wow. It's starting to look a lot similar. Okay. And one thing we can also do to sort of make it easier for us to understand is... Stable Diffusion, we can just change the names over here. All right. We can change this to uh, prompt. And one cool thing you can also do in Comfy UI is switch this to say green. So now we're matching up. We can switch this color over here to red. So when we take a look at this, we understand that one is our positive prompt and one is our negative prompt. Excellent, excellent. Let's just copy the generation tag for now. So let's see what we got. Generation sampling method. Ooh, so how are we going to match this up? Well, we can do something called a global sampler over here. Global sampler from the Inspire pack. Sam created the impact pack. We can say, hey, I want uh, DPM 2M, what is that, plus plus? Let's see. It appears to be this one, and we can switch the scheduler to Keras to match it up. So look, exact same functionality over here. Sampling steps. Now, how are we going to pull this off? Well, there's great nodes such as the integer node right over here. Integer. But you can rename this to steps for convenience, sampling steps for convenience over here. And bam. Maybe switch this up to 20. So we can match. 
All right, excellent. And cool thing, we don't actually don't need to connect this to anything. It'll just automatically overwrite our case samplers. And for the width, we're going to do the same thing we did for sampling steps over here. Hit up the names, width, height. All right, excellent, excellent. Batch count. This is just going to be the same thing. Batch count, batch size, CFG scale. And we can do a global seed over here to make it more convenient. Same deal with the global sampler. Just a convenient way to set seeds for different things you use. Oops. Just a very oh, convenient option over here. Excellent. Delete this, drag this on over here. Wow. Okay. And script, we can add a higher res fix, but I typically uh, don't see that used too often. So let's just sort things out so it matches up better. So I'll be right back once I sort out all these nodes and make it look clean and presentable. So One right. personal touch I do like to add when I'm creating these set nodes is to just do something like this, right? Set up the model and I can actually tuck it in behind, right? So that way there's no wire at all and it looks like it's completely wireless. The exact same way you see over in the Stable Diffusion Web UI, it's very neat. When there's no wires, it's a lot easier to see what is going on without being overloaded. Drop them right behind, bam, bam, bam. So, okay. So now our interface looks a lot like a comfy UI or Stable Diffusion Web UI over here. Take a look at this, see? It's just like, all right, cool. I can grab it just like I would grab it from over here. All right. So I want the image though. So what I can do is let's just add something called AK sampler. This is the exact same thing that um, Stable Diffusion does, though Stable Diffusion Web UI does have some unique things which change some of the weights. So it won't be a one to one match unless you get some certain extensions. But it's fine. It works uh, just as good for me. So let's just continue on. So here we go. So how are we going to handle this K sampler? Well, I'm just going to slap it uh, somewhere where it has a low visibility. Somewhere like right here. Next, I'm going to do get, get all those great things I made. The model. All right, and one thing we do have to do to that text box is convert it into a clip. So we can, so it'll transform it into, so it'll take our words and it will, in fact, it'll allow us to type words that our neural network or our stable diffusion model or our machine learning model, anything you really want to call it, works it will be able to understand the words in a sense so without further ado let's do uh embedding over here or it's not embedding it is a uh, clip encode text encode prompt and one cool thing you can do in comfy ui is modify these nodes right so i don't want to type things right in here i want to switch it to an input so i just go right over here let's see convert text to input excellent one thing i also want to do right over here is make sure that i'm also setting my clip set let's go clip right over here and while we're at it why not just set the vae Bam, bam, nobody will know. 
Nobody will know. Let's see. All right. So now I just want to do get the positive prompt. Push it right over here. All right, bam. So now I can just pop, pop it right here. Do a little copy, Control-C, Control-V to save me a hot minute. Right over here. And we can put negative prompt right over here. Dump it right here. Ooh, and we also need a latent image input. So how are we going to handle this? Well, you may have guessed it. There's something called latent image right over here in Comfy UI. Empty latent image. And we can do the same trick we did before. Bam, bam, bam. Get our git nodes right over. Oh, get our git nodes from right over here. Git. One, two. Width. Width. Or I should say height right over here. You can see just how easy it is to have wireless workflows in Comfy UI. Something I don't see a lot of, but I highly recommend you do if you're going to share your workflow or just reuse it. Because the simpler that the workflow looks, the easier it will be to work with every time. All right. All right. So now we're going to do a set note. Just get that thing prepped for the latent. There's also a cool feature in Comfy UI right over here, as you can see. If I just drag, the, click and drag it out, I can see some options right over here. And I want a VA decode. Bam. This will decode the sort of latent image into an image that we can see. Oops. Gave me a little warning there, so I want to get the VAE. VAE. Bam. Final image. Bam. All right. And we also need to add some changes to this case sampler to take into account our new options. All right. So as we can see over here, I still have a few things to convert. So I'm going to convert config steps. Seed, we don't have to make the seed as an input because we have the special nodes that will just overwrite whatever's in here for both the sampler name, the scheduler, and the seed. And technically, control after generate will also be overwritten by our wonderful node, global seed. I'm just going to switch this to 42. It's my favorite seat. All right. And so we can do save right over here. Save image. And this will go directly to our output folder. So one other cool thing you do with the set nodes is also link it to output. So I don't have to do this. I can do this so the image will be saved and let's just slap a little preview image so it looks just like this because the image does come out over here so we are about to witness the moment of truth will it work or will it crash and burn minimize this by clicking this top left corner Come on, let's big money. Oh, oops, I forgot that. So let's drop in the, okay, confit, scale, drop it. Whoops, I do need this to be float. That's an easy convert. And in fact, we can fix this because config is not an integer. It is in fact a float. 
which means it can have decimals. So I'm just going to do float. Can I get an impact float over here? I'll just get this float. So uh, the default is 7, so I'm going to slap 7 in here. I might have to. Yep, looks like I'm going to have to redo my set node, but that's okay. In Comfy UI is to do a control drag. Then if you, oops, if you control this, keep holding in, or actually, let's see. So one cool thing you can do in Comfy UI too, if you want to move stuff around, is move something like this. Okay, all right, so here we go. One cool thing you can do in Comfy UI too, if you want to mass drag stuff around, is do a little control, click. Then you can sh hold in shift and move entire things like this around. So, wow. So now it is the moment of truth again, and we shall see if it works. Okay. Okay, I, <laughs> that, my friend, is a completely random image with no prompt. Ooh, so it looks like uh, we got some face issues right over here. Why not? Why don't we actually add a prompt? So we're going to do a knight in armor. We're also going to do bad dream over here. So one cool feature in Comfy UI is that if you start typing... And you have embeddings installed, it'll say, hey, I know you have this embedding, so why not do it? Embedding is a negative embedding. It saves me a little bit of effort of typing in words when I can just do this some um do this that the creative dream shaper has set up. Let's see, knight armor, and I definitely do not want not safe for work images. In fact, I will. If you highlight this, you press control and you hit like the up arrow key, you can make stuff go up or down. So by switching this to 1.3, I increase the weight of this. So I'm far less likely to have not safe for work images. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That is just great. And it works exactly the same as Stable Diffusion Web UI. So look at that magic. We can also, if we want to get real fancy with it, you see this button called High Res Fixer over here and Refiner. The creator of the Impact Pack, one of my favorite extensions, has also added the ability to do this, to add a Refiner and a High Res Fix to Comfy UI. That's something we can add, but that's a story for another day. Right now, I'm very happy with what we got. We can just change stuff right over here, times two. Wow, 1024 to 1024. Let us see if it looks good or bad. Come on, give us a big money image, big money image. Wow, this looks good. Stress stuff out. Wow. And it's saved thanks to the save node right over here. It's saved on my computer. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get uh, stable diffusion web UI inside Comfy UI in the exact same way. Let me know if you would like me to go into more details and add more uh, how to implement the high res fix and refiner into this workflow. Please do, if you want to see more videos like this, like, comment, and subscribe. And I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.